to finish off these kind of games. How big of a deal was that for you? It was good. You know, I noticed this season a little bit. We've been better at closing out games. Uh, you know, personnel was slightly different, but last season we really struggled in close games. Uh, you know, that were under five or, or so with the minute left. Um, so shows a sign of maturity, um, a little sign of confidence from from the group collectively, and uh, you know, hopefully it continues to get better. You were you were pretty assertive tonight. You also had a, a sequence where you dove head first out of bounds. Last time. Let <laughs> 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 me show you my hip on camera. But, um, <laughs> uh, what was your mindset heading into this? Was it any different? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah these, these last five games, uh, I need to make sure I show up. Just close up the season strong. This is your best offensive game in about a month. Um, yeah. Was there any lingering thing from the ankle injury that you had, or uh, what, what? I mean, you know, just just to be honest, it was just a combination that you know after I came back from the ankle injury and uh, got a slow start, but you know, my mind, <clears throat> my mindset kind of slightly changed just just because of the nature of our season a little bit. Not being competitive for the playoffs, and it was kind of a difficult thing to handle. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, it's just a maturity thing on yeah. my end, and um, you know, I still got to show up, play, compete, and, and go hard. How much did it mean for this team to get the lift that you got off the bench from each one tonight? It was great. Uh, I mean, I, I just think, you know, first and foremost, that Nets team is a team that um, you know, most notably had been one of the hottest teams in the league this this new year. And, uh, you know, when you get good performances from uh, role players and, and guys who uh, like Etuan, um, that's amazing. I'm happy for him, and hopefully his confidence continues to build these last few games. And uh, he goes into the, su <coughs> into the summer knowing how he can perform. For you heading into these last couple of games, how important is it to just work on your game and you yeah. know, improve for next season? Yeah, just, you know, it's important that I give the effort, have the motivation to win. Um, Try my best to just do little leadership things here and there, um, you know, and hopefully just kind of join in with the rest of the guys and, and just closing out the season strong. Um, you know, if you have an option to end the season on a positive note or a somber note, you know, it's best to end it on a positive note. So you know, that's just my idea right now. Aaron, this, this time of year, bad season, is this thing mental? Is it like even more than physical? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubts about it. You know. You play this game because you want to have the hope that you can win a championship. You know, only one team is going to win it. Every every team except one team is going to go home dissatisfied to some degree. So, um, but you want to have the hope that you at least can have that chance until the final day. Um, so, you know, playing weeks and months ahead of time uh, without that you know, that hope, so to speak, that you can actually compete for a championship this year, you know, it's difficult. It's difficult depending on who you are as a player and, and where you are in your career. Um, you know, but just you still have to be professional and do your job and uh, play hard. It, it sounds like you're kind of saying that when you, did, you were more professional and you didn't do your job for a couple of weeks there. Did you feel that, that you've regained that in the last time? No, it's not that. It's just, you know, my mentality sometimes, you know, I may allow my teammates to flourish a little bit. It's not necessarily a selfish thing. You know, it's not all about me and what I do. Uh, it's about the group collectively um, all the way around. So, uh, you know, it was meant to be said in a positive way. Uh, I still love the game. I still play the game. But uh, your hunger and passion for it, <clears throat> you know, for the ultimate goal of winning the championship, um, you know, if that wavered a little bit, you know, right now it's just about me building the habits. Uh, being a good player. Thanks,